Hello and welcome to what is the final day of Petrolhead Tours with Alcoholics. And now we are jumping in with Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello. How the devil are you? Very well, thank you. Good night's sleep. Yeah, it was a good night's sleep. Great hotel Great as hotel. well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Tony, tell us a bit about your car because I think it's probably one of the most pretty ones on this tour, if I do say so myself. It's uh, build number 10. It was built by um, Darren Walsh. I bought it uh, second hand from, uh, from uh, Max and Andrew. Um, it was built, I guess, 10 years ago. Um, and um, I've had it, I think, five. Nice, okay. And um, what sort of specification is this? So it's a GTA. It's a GTA R. It's yeah. uh, steel body, aluminium doors, bonnet and boot. Yeah. Uh, Darren does all of Alphaholics. Uh, aluminium works. Okay. So he does all the GTAs, everything. A uh, bit of a, a wizard with uh, with aluminium. Okay. And, uh, so uh, everything on it is handmade, effectively by him. Absolutely gorgeous, and it is absolutely stunning in here as well. So you've gone for like an all black trim, and so I upgraded uh, some of the uh, some of the features he put in. I decided to. Uh, take out the bucket seats, put in the uh, uh, touring seats. Yeah, they're so, so comfy. Very comfy but seats. But what I like is you've kept the harnesses. Kept the harnesses, kept the roll cage. Yeah. Uh, changed the dash. Okay. So it's like uh, if you were specifying it from new Max and uh, well, the Alphaholics guys will, yeah. will do whatever uh, uh, whatever specification you want. Yeah. So this one now has uh, air conditioning in oh. to uh, allow us to uh, tour on the continent in hot. Lovely. So it's uh, slightly different, uh, slightly different to other uh, to other cars. Okay. And engine-wise, what has this got running? This is a twin spark two liter. Okay. Running on uh, uh, carburetion. Okay, on carbs, nice. So probably about 210 horsepower? No, less, 190. 190, okay. Still fruity. Still fruity. Still fruity. Lovely, okay, well, there you go. There's a little bit about uh, Tony's car. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure you're following Petrohead Tours on Instagram, and of course, Alphaholics, and let's enjoy today. See you soon. on it and it's uh, as you said it's uh, relatively easy to drive yeah I'm not a you know, fast driver up to compare to some of these other guys but the um, it's uh, it flatters it flatters the driver yeah that's a really good way of putting it I said um, I, I think I said what it, what was it forgiving I think I said in James's video it's very yes. forgiving um, and you know it's still got all the get up and go that it needs but at the same time it, just really enjoy the mid-range power and, and not have to give it everything at the time. It's, it's, it uh, sits really comfortably in that mid-range area. Driving on uh, uh, 
running carbs is um, it's uh, box down every now and again, particularly yeah. at altitude. It was it was uh, yeah it was down on power yesterday uh, when we were right up in the mountains. But uh, apart from that, it's uh, very very enjoyable. I find that quite almost endearing because it's still an old car and she's still an old gal. Yes, 50 years old. Yeah, it's so. that's crazy that yeah she's done this amount of driving almost 2,000 miles. They designed this 50 well maybe 60 years ago and it's uh, it's a lovely car to drive. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and we kind of we feel very spoiled because Max and Andrew car Andrew's cars are, are so on it, so on it, so all the time. We do forget that actually they are 50 plus years old. Like this is a this is a classic old car, and it's done 2,000 miles with not one hiccup. Fingers crossed. Fingers Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch the Alcantara. <laughs> Again, it's such an enjoyable experience to be passengering one. And clear. Clear, Brendan. Sounds so good. Such a raspy noise. Oh, so good. So, so good. So, the other car that we will be talking about, but I'm actually not going to be able to go in, I don't think, because I'm not of time, um, is John and his team Slottermaker GTA. Um, now, I've jumped back in the car with Max because he actually knows most about the car. So, in your own time, tell us about Team Slottermaker. So, um, so John's GTA is a 1965 Auto Delta prepared 1600 GTA uh, that was originally uh, bought by a, a, a wealthy amateur, amateur racing driver called Fabrizio Violati, okay. who had the car for a year and then he sold it to Rob Slotermaker. So Rob Slotermaker was a very famous guy in Holland uh, who was a rally driver and ran race teams and he bought two Auto Delta to GTAs for the 66 championship season, one for him to race and one for a young up, uh, young upcoming guy called Wim, Wim Lowe's. And the car that John has is Wim Lowe's car, so Wim jumped in the car, 66 season, beat his older, more experienced boss and teammate uh, wow. to win the 1966. In John's car? In John's car, yeah. Wow. Uh, the 1966 Dutch Touring Car Championship. Oh my God. Um, and then he was leading the 1967 Dutch Touring Car Championship when he very tragically got killed at Spa in the 24 hour race, driving uh, a steel bodied Alpha. And it was a real national tragedy because he was seen as, he was a bit like a Jock and Rin. He was a real up and coming, very talented a racing Love driver who got killed right when he was starting to come oh. into his prime. Nice. So that car is completely original as it was? The car is completely original. I mean, it, the odometer reads like 13,000 kilometres. I mean, after this trip, it probably now reads 15,000 yeah. kilometres. Um, John had bought it in America, knew nothing of the history of the car. Um, we had previously restored an SZ for him. Yeah. Um, we shipped that to America and then he contacted me and he said, the SZ's brilliant. I've enjoyed doing that restoration and race prep with you so much. I want to send you another car to restore. He said, I've got this GTA. He said, he said, I think some previous owner has had an obsession with Auto Delta because it's covered in Auto Delta parts. Uh, that have been fitted um, and I said well do you know the history he said no and I said well ship it over and I'll have a look at it and it arrived and I looked in the rear window and in the rear window there was a uh, Rob Slotermaker um, uh, skip pan school sticker in the back window and I thought mm, all these auto delta bits the Slotermaker sticker in the rear window it should be an interesting car and within a short period of time we worked out that that was one of the team slow to make cars and then with a little bit more research we worked out that it was the championship winning car of Wimlow's. Oh my god. So I rung John and I said John do you want the good news and he said oh what's the score and I said well the good news is that you've got um, the Dutch championship winning Very low mileage, let's strip it all down, 
check everything really carefully and then return it back to its exact 66 championship winning spec, colour screen, scheme, wow. stickers, etc, etc, which is what we've done. That is so cool. And it's genuinely... Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so good, this car. It's genuinely one of the coolest cars on the trip because it's had its fair share of issues. It, it is an old car, so uh, it's had some um, tender love and care from Brendan this trip. But, like, that car from 1966, like, just drove 2,000 miles. That is unbelievable. Proper cool. So, over Max's chat about the car, I will implement some shots of the car so you know what it looks like. Max and I found if we have the window open, it's ten times louder. So now we just drive with the window open. And last year, I may or may not have broken this window, so we haven't been able to open it the whole trip. And he was too lazy to fix it. <laughs> so, it's just one window, but it makes all the difference. Thank mm -hmm. you.